Monitoring is on. Here's a look at the jump conditional or JC instruction and the jump unconditional or JU instruction. The jump conditional instruction jumps when the result of logic or RLO immediately before it is 1. The jump unconditional jumps regardless of the RLO. This example contains AND before OR Boolean logic prior to the JC instruction. Currently, the RLO is 0, therefore the jump conditional does not execute. The instruction load MD48 loads the time value T pound 46 milliseconds. The transfer instruction puts this value in jump data DB's variable elapsed time. The JU instruction here is necessary or the label next will still be executed as the statements are evaluated. The JU instruction jumps around the label next to the label after. The no op zero instruction means do nothing and is a popular instruction used next to a label when no further action is required. Now the result of logic immediately before the JC instruction is true. So the program jumps to the label next. Memory word 42 loads a somatic time and transfers it to jump data db's start timer variable. Looking in the data block, you can see that the time transfer is S5T pound sign 8 seconds. The instruction with the label after colon no op zero is still executed. A label must have an instruction placed next to it so the no op zero is used. A block end or BE instruction could also be used here. The jump conditional not or JCN instruction is executed when the RLO immediately before it is zero. In this example, MW130 and MW132 are loaded. The two values are compared with the greater than or equal to as integers instruction. If MW130 is larger, the comparison will be true and the JCN will not execute. If MW132 is larger, the comparison will be false and JCN will execute. In this example, the goal is to put the larger of two numbers into jump data db's variable max. MW130 loads the value 87. MW132 loads the value 102. 87 is not larger than 102, so the RLO is 0 and the JCN instruction does execute and jumps to the label xfer1. The last value loaded, 102, is in accumulator 1 and transferred to the data blocks variable max. Now memory word 130 loads the value 160. Memory word 132 loads the same value 102. 160 is greater than 102 so the RLO is 1 and the JCN instruction does not execute. The TAK instruction toggles the accumulators placing the larger value into accumulator 1. The next instruction executes because there is no JU in front of it and transfers the larger value to the DB's variable max. This concludes the video on JU, JC, and JCN jump instructions.